So in the last video, we have cleaned the data set, training and the testing data set. We got the train and test. Now in this step, we will be selecting few columns. This is just for the sake of simplicity for the explanation that you get to understand what, what you need to do in the following steps, how you follow the steps in the machine learning to implement any kind of machine learning algorithm. So let's talk about the selection of few columns. So we are not selecting all the columns as the predictor variables. But we are selecting few predictive variables like six whether the passenger who was traveling on that ship was a male or female what was the age that means it's giving an understanding to the model that whether he, uh, he or she was an old guy or was a very young or was a kid or very infant what is the number of siblings uh, a certain passenger has because maybe a certain passenger has two or three siblings then they are more or less connected so if one of them is uh, survived then maybe all of those siblings is also getting uh, are also getting survived because they are all connected and staying together so during that time maybe they got also some help for the survival and then parents and children the number of parents uh, total that is the total uh, count of parents and including children and uh, then we have fare what is the fare of the ticket the certain passenger uh, certain passenger has uh, bought for the now from the train data set test data set is completely apart once you have uh, trained the model you will be using the test data for predictions now before that you use the only the train data set from there you have to first create the x and y so x comma y x is the predictor variables so from train data set we are selecting these predictor y so you give it inside the brackets comma train dot survive this is the predict uh, this is the target variable whether it is zero or one now it is a classification problem it is a binary classification problem based on sex age siblings park parent children park and fear you want to predict whether a given passenger has survived or not so this is x and this is y just write like this hit run like this now if you want to see that what what is x x is again coming from train and y is coming from train dot survived so if you see x index location you could write like this as well that means all the rows but columns from 0 to 5 you can write like this right or maybe you want to see 0 to 4 0 to 3 rows 3 rows only you want to see 0 1 to 3 and first 5 columns and this is why this is why looking like So this is one step defining X and Y.